Hey, welcome back if you've been here before. If this is your first time joining, welcome aboard. Remember, hit the like button and share me with somebody that will just share me and they'll get it. So let's get into it. I started with a good old laugh to prove a point. And I'll end with a hug. And you'll see. One, I'm a little crazy. And two, laughter is good for the soul. And so is hugs. But like I said, I'll get to that in a little bit. Have you ever had a day? You just had one of those days where Murphy's Law just seems to hang around everywhere you go. And nothing was going right. And then you have that one thing that happens that makes you laugh. A little or maybe even a lot. Someone says something, someone does something. Right there, at that point, everything that has gone wrong or not turned out just as you want it seems to vanish. It is simply amazing that something as simple as a laugh can make you feel so good. You can forget about your pain, your worries, and whatever burdens you bear for the moment. I'm not saying it's a cure-all and it'll cure all your ills or solve all your problems. But if you take a moment just a little bit of time to laugh just a little, you might see the possibilities of a greater, happier thing to come for just one moment. And sometimes a moment is all you need. But the best thing about a laugh is it creates a memory. A good memory, something you can look back on and cause you to smile, even chuckle a little bit. We love to laugh with friends, co-workers, strangers, family, it doesn't matter. We definitely like to laugh at others. And sometimes we go too far at the expense of others. And I'm just as guilty as everyone else out there. But I've learned in my lifetime that it is easier to laugh at myself because Lord knows I've done enough stupid stuff that you just have to shake your head and laugh. It should always be easier for you to laugh at yourself than others, but it's much more fulfilling to laugh with others because then you share a common bond. I laugh a lot at work, I laugh a lot at home. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not easy. But I also realize that sometimes the person or people that are laughing at me or with me may be covering their own pain and sadness and need. But a good moment of laughter is always good. Just remember, in order to truly laugh, truly laugh, you have to be able to laugh at yourself first. We try all the time to figure out ways to feel better in our complicated lives, in our complicated daily lives. And now, most of the time, laughter seems like a very good pill 
to help us through that. This pandemic has been especially hard on a lot of us. It's been difficult. We never realized how much we needed to be around each other, to have that human touch, that contact, the need to be with one another. We have figured out ways to laugh at and with one another from a distance. But that human contact, that touch, that feel, that hug that we sometimes share is the link that brings us all together, that makes us feel better that makes our bond complete. And I think a lot of us have missed that. And we'll get back to that. Because out of this, we will be stronger together. And that hug that you will share with a friend, a neighbor, a loved one, someone you haven't seen in a long time, will mean even more. and it will be much more enjoyable. I know some of you guys out there are saying, don't come over here with that, with that hugging mess. Uh, I don't need it. Let me tell you tough guys something. From the age of 11, when I broke my first bone, and it was a good one too, I've had almost 30 surgeries. And yes, some of them could have been avoided. A lot of them could have been avoided. I am in some form of pain every day I get out of bed. There are times when my wife wants or needs a hug and the truth is I need that hug just as much as she thinks she does because whatever she needs that hug for. I need it for that too. I just didn't realize it yet. A hug says many things. A hug says I need you. Don't want to take the next step without you. I trust you. I miss you. I'm going to miss you. I'm all right now. But most of all, it says, I got you. Hugs like laughs shared among friends display that type of bond we have and the glue that holds us together. Hugs like laugh evolve over time, over a lifetime. And most of the time, they become the one common thread that ties us all together. Anytime you meet family, friends, old friends, new friends, young friends, whatever, you're always most often greeted with a hug. A hug dictates what your bond is and how strong your bond is. And it could be a simple guy hug, and you know how you guys do. Just to, you know, the one, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in and give you this hug right now, and then you. There's the there's the aunt hug where she wraps around you like a boa constrictor and you're thinking, when is this woman going to let go? Well, I'm not going to tell you to go out and just hug someone, anyone, because unless you have bill money, stick to people that you know. Don't start, do start your day with a laugh and the rest of the day will be downhill in a good way. Give hugs when needed and especially when your spouse, friends, or family members don't know they need. And the loss you have suffered. All the loss you have suffered. 
a hood got you through. The failures, the shortcomings, all that you've experienced, your ups and downs in your life. And you can still laugh at your mistakes and yourself. I can guarantee you, you will be okay. So tell me this, who stands to benefit from your laughter? Who stands to gain from a heartfelt hug? Who will you share a laugh or a hug with? Not me. So don't come over here with that old, all that old touchy feely stuff because I ain't into that. I was going to end this with a joke, but I got to thinking, didn't really know any jokes that didn't end with a naked chicken. So go out and find some else to laugh at.